What happened last week? We fought stuff. No, 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 no. Donnie has to sing it. He's promised. Okay, all right. Heading out. Tracking down a ghoul, we found a dead man's journal. Then we encountered some more ghouls, then there they were. <laughs> Riding an undead horse, yes, there he was. Hit our doorway with a torch. I smell death and carnage here. Do -do -do. Takes half damage when an allies near do, do, do. who's that casting devious spells in my direction mama this surely is a white yeah yeah mama this surely is a white dig it our dailies ought to set this thing right and werewolf coccyx <laughs> <laughs> you get all that? <laughs> that was pretty good. The uh, <clears throat> the record dropping this uh, November. <laughs> and I'm going to get sued. They need enough time to <laughs> auto tune it. Yeah. No, you were actually a sixteenth of a beat off, so it's completely. Oh, I, oh no, I was. I forgot. I forgot the takes half damage on the allies near part. I had to pause. <laughs> See, boom. I think fixing in computers. But yeah, there we go. That happened last the, the last couple weeks. <laughs> well, and before that too, there was also the little side quest. Oh yeah, yeah. Them. There was a side. There was a little side quest, so some guys could get some extra loot as well. But yeah, then they then they had to track down that ghoul who attacked them, the friar, because he said, "Hey." Glad you mentioned that uh, chapel. I think I'll go pay them a visit. Uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. So they went and tried to get him. You know, I regret not having her go, damn it, Matthias. Because he was <laughs> the one who told her, told the friar about that, too. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, there's something I was going to ask, Matthias. I think you had, like, one healing word left over from the left fight. I was going to ask if you could... Yeah, I didn't do you, much healing. <laughs> if you could just use it on Grungar so I can heal my mm -hmm. remaining oh, that's right. six. Yeah, uh, we're we're on. Uh, hey, Chris, do you have your new uh, character? Oh, like, uh, have you updated your character? I no, I was just can. going to update the one on. I think it's the Fall Forest map, isn't it? Yeah, it's Fall Forest. It's the exact same as the one you have. But yeah, it's the exact same. Like, like I haven't made any changes to it. I was just I was just uh, figuring in like plus one bonuses here and there in the attack roll. Yeah, because that was the only thing I had not added. Because it was just having the magic staff was the only thing left. So yeah, I'll probably just do that once we start. Oh, and we also have an undead horse now, tied up. Uh, that... kind of. You knocked it out. <laughs> I hog tie that thing. <laughs> All right. I had roll technically a, not roll a uh, roll a thievery check, I guess, or thievery to tie things up, I guess that would be okay. Yeah, I think I'll give it a shot. Use rope. Yeah, either okay, thievery or check. dungeoneering. It's kind of hard thievery. to hog tie a horse though, because that means you had to pull its limbs around behind it. <laughs> oh, Grungar it's an that. undead horse, okay? Grungar can it... do that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. It doesn't have as much musculature. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look stupid. No, no, Rex you just, just tied. Broke off you, just, you just, you just, you just tied up. That, that's a pretty good check. Yeah, you, you tied it up. <laughs> Grungar tie this. Now what he do with this? Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Grungar go back to sleep. Grungar sleepy. Must oh, get. Is Grungar t trained in athletics? Yes, he is actually. He er uses athletics to ride. Just saying. I'm going to use athletics to ride. I mean, this thing is probably my best mount I could find. He's pr it's pretty scrawny for, for a mount. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's the same size as a horse. 
<laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly, or slightly was. less, well, slightly less density, of course. <laughs> but, huh? I don't know. I think the the uh, dread protectors are they like were they heavily armored? Yeah, kind of. Because I mean, I don't wear armor. I'm just big. Maybe it'll balance out. I mean, it was it's like it's scale armor, so it you know scale armor is actually kind of on the light side. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Should I roll our counter to see if any of the the items are magical or? Yeah, sure. You do. Arcana, actually. Yeah, uh, you find uh, one plus one magic great axe on one of the dread protectors. And on the white raider, you find a. Let, let me uh, let me roll the dice on his. Let's see here, was that? Okay, it's D10. Okay, you do find you do find a. Let's see here. What kind of? It's a. Hang on, it's a broadsword. Let me take a look. Oh, okay. Let, let me look. It's a. My, I, I wasn't thinking about this today, but. No. Well, it's just good to know for later, because then. Once we finally do have the enchant magic gun, we can also disenchant things and get back some residuum, so. Different ritual. Yeah, let me, let me just look up, let me look up something. I'll, I'll give you all a, a fun one. Because you might, cause so you might be able to transfer it. For you. Or transfer, transfer yeah. It's a third different ritual. So Matthias comes over to find the horse hog tied. Yeah, it's... it's oh. Horse he just looks it. around. Why? <laughs> because we've never Arr. investigated a live sample or an undead sample. Whatever. The point is, everything else has been smashed head in. Which reminds Grongar as he goes off to other stuff and starts doing it. Okay, it's a uh, it's a dead stone. It's a dead stone broadsword. It's a plus one. It's a level two item. Does anyone want either of those? Eh, I think I already have a mace. But... The great axe, I'll hold on to. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I actually don't have any proficiency feats, so neat. I can kind of just choose whatever later. Well, I'll take well, the great axe off the list, but the broadsword is going to stay on the party of Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. Dead stone broadsword. And if you're looking for it, just type in, like, in Compendium, type in Deadstone Weapon. It's like, uh, it's got 1D, plus 1d8 necrotic damage per per plus on a crit. Mm. And uh, the trigger is you hit an enemy with a melee attack using this weapon as a free action daily. The Deadstone Weapon absorbs a number of hit points equal to the damage dealt with the triggering attack. Till the end of the encounter, the first time you would take damage from an arc, oh, well, arcane defiling. Mm. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't make it a dead stone because it's arcane <laughs> filing. It's like it's like nope, nope. That's uh, pretty specific. <laughs> so, yeah, about, so about that uh, plane jumping. Yeah, no, no. Here we go, blood fury weapon. Blood fury weapon. Yeah, it's a encounter it's a blood, miner. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, you're considered bloody. Well. Sadly, that doesn't do much for me yet. But ooh. yeah, considered bloody. <laughs> oh, you can. Yeah, well, if you're considered bloody as a minor action, you could go into Berserker Fury. But I mean, you know, I can so, do that. Yeah, you can like, just do that with a. You can just do that with an attack. So, four yeah. E at least in the three monster manuals doesn't actually have red caps per se. They have spriggans. Yeah. But I'm going to be throwing red caps because I just kind of reflavor redid the spriggans a little bit. And I changed it so that uh, they have like a trigger, a triggered uh, reaction that gives them like temporary hit points when they bloody or drop an enemy. And I made it so it gives them temporary hit points and makes them considered to be bloodied for the encounter. And then they get like bonus stuff and stuff recharges when they are become bloodied. So I think they're going to be fun to play. Yeah. Alrighty. Anyway, I that, that, that stuff that happened. Because they're considered like, bloodied. Like that, that. About halfway halfway down the description, I was like, "Arcane defiling crap." I was like, "Dead stone weapon." That sounds something a white would carry. That it does. Okay, but anyway. 
actually look at this. I guess Matthias will Softly. inspect the that horse like with religion because it's undead. Yeah. <laughs> Heal check. Where did it die from? What are you What are you trying to figure out about it? Uh, he's just hunting any more clues down for the disease for the cause. Yeah. Dust plague. Dust plague sounds like a good name for it. Yeah. I just like, love the thought. Here. We're going to look <laughs> just... for clues. Gang, split up and look for clues. Yep. <laughs> I like the thought of when you guys are doing this stuff in the background. You do hear the t t t t t t t t t t t t t t. Yeah. As I'm making sure stuff doesn't come back alive. Yes. But it's like, well, it's it's a horse. That's new. You you originally thought it was like only predators that could become zombies, but here's a undead horse. Well. Meat eaters, presumably. Yeah. I mean, you can feed a horse meat. Yeah. Actually, hmm. You can lead a horse to carrion, but you can't. Do I know if it actually became a horse from the dust plot from the dust cloud, or if it was just before? <laughs> no, that it was, was human white. before the dust plague. Like the white just had it. Earlier. Yeah. Okay. It was human before the dust plague. It turned into a horse because right, of that. you could you could roll a different check for that because that's a different thing. Oh, that's you're great. Trying to... Yeah, like, was this even from the plague, or did the white just convert it because no, it's a zombie on mount? Us. That appears to be, it appears to be from the plague. Hmm. I mean, y'all noticed, y'all noticed there was this, uh, this corpse of a horse over here was actually, uh, it, even though it was being eaten by these other zombies, it was still twitching and stuff. It just had lost its mobility. With a check like that, you, with a check like that, you would assume. Well, actually, I'm not going to give you any more. That was because you were being pretty specific to what you were asking. <laughs> Note to self: Be more vague. Yes, yes, because I'll spill. I'm the beans. looking for clues that would help us in any way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, and then I'll say, "Can you be more specific?" To help us find no. out anything All about right. the plane. <laughs> hey, well, anyway, you found that stuff. Uh, do you want to do anything else? <laughs> I will rest for the rest of the night. Okay, it's oh. it's early morning, so yeah. And, and uh, Matthias and Cintiq, if you had spent any dailies because y'all were on the last watch, you don't recover your dailies. Oh, yeah. I remember. Uh, there goes Fountain in the Flame. Long. Next. I'm still good. Okay. Yeah. I did just over 140 damage in one turn. Uh, yep. I'm glad with that. Even if we get killed later on. Okay. But yeah, there's that. Also, not have an action point until we hit a milestone. But, since and Matthias will hit a milestone before the other three. Yep. So, yeah. there's that. <laughs> so I, I guess, just, um, I'm sorry. after finishing resting, do we keep going, or is there more stuff you guys are going to do to that horse? Do Probably we want to keep it moving? Yeah. Well, there are check. things we could do. It is a pack animal. Uh, does anyone have a nature check? I don't think it's going to be a nature check at this point. It's undead. You're going to have to assert your will over no, it as an undead creature. Kind of animal. <laughs> it would probably assert have to will, be arcane so... stuff. I was about to say arcane, or unless I can like beat it down with athletics. It's gonna it's gonna be another religion check because it is an undead and necromancy. Well, I don't know. I guess because I guess it's kind of necromancy in nature as well, you might be able to do an arcane check. So either arcane or religion. Or maybe but both. But not both. Only but try this to check. To dominate the undead horse? Yes. Uh, I don't think Matthias would feel comfortable doing that. I mean, you're trying to you're trying to bend it to your will because it is an undead creature. It's function it's functioning kind of like a construct. As Cintiq jumps on that, like, oh, you don't want it, mine. Well, she just kind of want to test out things, like if the sensors are still the, the same as when they were up. living. So, 
He'd yeah. prefer it be dead, but... Yeah. Is anyone going to try and keep it? Teak will want to keep it with us for now, because she does want to... Just do, like, testing stuff on it over the course of the next couple days while they have it. You know, the kind of stuff okay. like... What's the range of its visions, whatnot. Stuff you could do in the side while we're traveling. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to take a penalty to your Arcana check because Necromancy is not your school of magic, so. Yeah. So it's going to be like a minus four. Okay, just do minus four Penalty to this. the Arcana check. Alright, so what we'll, what we'll do is uh, a couple lengths of rope, don't we? Actually, it doesn't matter even if one length of rope is fine. We'll tie this thing up such, such that we can have one person holding it in front, one person holding it in back. That way it can't dart either direction. I'll just roll it out. That was with the minus okay. four into it already. Okay. You're not able to assert your will over it, sadly. It, it was a, it was a, it was a really yeah. holy crap. It was a re, it was it was one of those real it was one of those really tough checks. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No, that's fine. Grungar, however, ma manages it. <laughs> it's not because he has a, it is not taking the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he has to. Oh god, but that, that no, really you do not. It it, 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 it jerks back and forth, and it's trying to. It's trying. Uh, by this point, it has become conscious again, as you were trying to assert your yeah. will over it. But it it just does not. It just. It when while it, we trap while we travel, we're gonna have our rope tied around it such that it's secure, and we can have Grungar on one holding it like on the at the front of the line of marching line, and like Hemic can be holding it in the back. And that way it can't, like, run forward or to where the rope would be slack. You'd, you'd requ it'd require a strength check. This thing is a large creature. It can drag. Well, we can have, like, Hemic and Matthias or something, like two people on the one side. Uh, It'll probably be wizard. another thing later on, though. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, if y'all are trying, if y'all are trying to, to travel, if y'all are trying to travel overland with this thing, you are going to be traveling at like one mile every three okay. hours. Well, Matthias is not actually a horse at all. It's this. a donkey. <laughs> He's just glad enough everybody came with him to help the chapel. He doesn't want to upset them by saying no to the yeah, horse so idea. So not going to be able to travel with it. Scratch that. Yeah. Is Cintiq not... Cintiq should, uh, I guess we'll it's wait around. It's actively, it's it's actively trying to lunge and attack you guys right now. Well, we've got his legs tied up. I know. I'm just. I'm just saying. It's actively trying to. It's just not able to. Yeah. Oh well. It'll just uh, slow Grungar, us down. Grunger, smash it, please. Grunger. Aye aye. It not just again. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's just new. No. Nah. Just not gonna punch us. It dies. No, it didn't die. Yeah, it did. By this. Did, point. I, does, did Cintiq want to do any more testing on it? No, not because it would take that. up time. Let's start with something you specifically I wanted, wanted to I wanted to test if, uh, like, their bones were more brittle or just how much it would take to injure these things. It was a helpless creature, too, Grungar, so... <laughs> I... Oh, I auto-crit. Oh. Well, Grungar, That's, was that uh... softer than other horses you may have killed? <laughs> uh, that's so... Oh, how much damage is that? Plus four... That was 20. I think the thing's dead. Yeah, it's well, quite... It's not negative bloody, but... <laughs> it's it suddenly gained the uh, critical hit kills them property. Mm -hmm. I can't find I can't find the clip for it, but dude, let's kill the horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and anyways, after dicking around the horse for a while... Um, um, I guess, um, yeah, Grungar will go back to sleep and... Uh, once it's a little later, towards like actually the time they would have set out, uh, he'll be ready. Well, to set yeah, y'all are. Y y well, if you were helping out with them for that long, by this point you're gonna have to sleep until like eight in the morning. Oh. So it's about eight in the morning by this point when you wake <laughs> up. Let's go. Yes. Da -da -da. Lead us, Matthias. Who has the only nature in the party? 
I might have to train into that just because. Sorry. At this point, I'm he's a... learned how to how to be in the wild now. Oh, you're not gonna take the penalty because of your speed. Yeah. By this point, you have because you've rolled pretty decently for the most part. I don't think. Oh, y'all are continuing to make nature. y'all's way. And I'm gonna. Let's see here. I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, bu- 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 let's go to the overland map. Okay, every five miles, every five miles, I'm going to roll a saving throw. So let's see here. So. Party, party, party. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember, everyone, we're on the Monopoly rules, so if we roll three saving throws, we get an auto encounter. All right. That's nope. t- Critical not encounter. It's so peaceful. We're stuck in a state of paranoia. Yeah, y'all are y'all are y'all are getting there. Basically, I just wanna. Okay. Nice. Yeah, y'all are y'all are there by that point. It was fifth. It was about fifteen, sixteen miles. And as you're come as you're coming up, you do come across a. Uh, as you're coming towards the chapel, uh, it's up on a desolate hill. Off to the side, there is a. Uh, off to the side of the place, there is a uh, stream, leading up to a waterfall. But you don't really see anybody around. So do you walk up to the chapel, or? It depends on if Hemic and Grunga want to try to stealth ahead or not. Like if they want does to try the hill have Does the hill have any like way for us to move without being easily seen? Or is it just like a rolling hill where basically you can see across it? It's it's a it's a slightly rolling hill. But there are there are trees and stuff like that, and it is you know by this point let's see here, you you're traveling at two point five miles per hour. So f- 2.5, so... We're looking at... If five, we left at 8, yeah. yeah, around that time. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 <laughs> divided by 6. Uh, I don't do math good. But yeah, 2.5 plus 2.5, so it's 2 hours. Six, you, you've, been, you've been traveling for 6 hours, so it's noon by this point, actually. <sighs> Yeah, so it's bright day, but we can try. Uh, I mean, it's not bright, bright day. Although the dust has has been dissipating a little bit more as the days have gone on. There's, there's a few yeah. there's a few open pockets here and there where the sun might shine out. Okay, well, no reason not to. So Gunnar is gonna go ahead and try to be quiet on his way up. Okay. And uh, yeah. White Wizard's gonna follow you too. He's got a good stealth, I think. Does he? Yeah, he's got a. He's got a nine. He's got nine. Yeah, he's got nine stealth. <laughs> Has he had a negative four? He's got a great stealth, guys. Hey, you guys. Oops. Hey. I want to come too. I do light magic. That's stealthy. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, bu- 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 uh, you don't really see. You don't really encounter anybody, but you. When you do get close, uh, there's a message scrawled on the door. Oh, fun. And you do... Actually, actually, as you approach... I forgot to mention. As you approach, there is actually a... There's a, a decapitated uh, man in armor in front of the door. Decapitated man up. in armor. Mm-hmm. So it's just a, like a... Headless horseman, kind of decapitated, as a big armor piece without a head. Um, religion check. Is he going to come back to life anytime soon? Okay, he's got none at all. Uh, you don't think? Oh so. no, he's decapitated. So never mind. It's like, hmm. Oh wait, no. Do I hear anything? Something inside? is missing from this picture. Uh, no, you don't hear anything inside the door. the okay. The doors on this thing are very thick. The uh, windows are kind of high up. So the windows are about ten feet high. I mean, ten ten feet up off the ground. It's a, it's a fairly decent sized chapel. 
Gungar looks at the note. At whatever is scrawled on there, what does it read? It's. It appears to be written in blood. Don't speak blood. Mm. Gungar make blood. Do you speak blood? Yeah. No, it says. It says, looks like I got here before you. No, I'm just kidding. They were already dead when I got here. Even though I hate that man, I'm still inclined to believe him. Hmm. No, let us insight the message. Not. <laughs> Your friend, the friar. <laughs> Your friend, the friar. Rungar must treat him to a great birthday present. Bugbear traditional one. Hammer to the face. Anyways. And um, uh, you do you do notice the uh, tabard that the uh, on the armor is paler. Nope. It is nope. Uh, it is scarlet red, and it has the symbol of a dragon on it. Scarlet red dragon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, the good dragon gone is the platinum dragon. Uh, I'm not intimately familiar with the evil dragon god, or goddess, but one when, when will assume that it, if it is not silver and blue, and is in fact the, kind of the opposite of those colors, roll a religion check. <laughs> I guess the religion guy isn't here. Religion uh, check. How high? No, no, by, by this point, y'all have all gone up there. Okay. There was okay. y'all had met y'all met no resistance. Okay. So, what was they the tavern? They can take ten on the stealth. It's a it's a crim, it's a crimson <laughs> tavern with a. Uh, it, it's just a one? it's a crimson tower. Pet, yeah, with just just a symbol of a dragon on it. Anybody have streetwise? Would that apply here? Yeah, actually. Uh, White Wizard has streetwise. Let's see what could his street be, yeah, it could just be a yeah. the, uh, insignia. These are... Oh, oh yeah. White yeah. <laughs> hey, Wizard's like, oh, I yeah, know the, this, the guy is... No, no, the White oh, Wizard's like... So okay, thought. okay, you get, it's, it's not as bad as you thought. These are Imperial Dragon Slayers, which actually might be as bad as... be worse than we thought. Imperial... Like, why would the Imperial Dragon Slayers be in this area? Oh, no, the dragon of Palor. Uh, I was about to say, like, well, this... what do these Imperial Dragon Slayers do? They slay dragons in the name of the Empire. Does this include Dragonborn? I think you found your answer. <laughs> Somebody also... did a good job. Oh dear! So there's a dragon in the air. Coming from somewhere. Did the guy Shard. die to the dragon, or was uh, was the decapitation? What? Did he die from the decapitation, or was that after? Was that post mortem? Uh, yeah, it, it appeared. Okay. Naked baby, naked baby, naked baby. <laughs> My sister just brought the baby through. Oh. <laughs> that's a uh, that's an odd result. I, I I don't understand how that has to do with the question asked. The white wizard just starts saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? No. Naked babies, naked babies, naked babies. Naked babies, naked babies, naked babies. You know, Grungor always thought there was something wrong with that guy. Okay. But anyway. Anyway, yeah, it's an Imperial Dragon Slayer who's been decapitated. Laid out in front. You think the ghoul might have got this one? Well, he'll check to determine how he died, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll... Do they usually Yo, travel alone, or? Um, was the decapitation post mortem? And if it was, how did how did he die? Yeah, it's post mortem. He died. He it it, it appears he had he had died from his own wounds, or from from, from uh, other wounds. There appear there appear to be uh, mar there appear to be various claw marks on him and stuff like that. But oh, so there's a dragon involved. Like, Gungar takes... 
deep gashes or something small? Uh, well, there there are some spots on it. On like like when you, you initially you don't see it, but when you turn them over, there are some deep indentations and gashes within his uh, armor, like a can opener. Okay. Well. There also, also, uh, the like, like, there are some areas on them that have turned black, almost like frostbite. So oh, you, good! It's not a black dragon. No, 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 no it was an acid. <laughs> Screw black dragons. <laughs> White uh, dragon. Rungar magical takes a opposite. Curious look up in the sky. It's, it's it's kind of peaceful right now. How is this there's place ten, set up? There's is ten dragons like above one us. One front door. <laughs> is what's the door. building itself like? Is it like a it's fully a long, enclosed thing, or does it have like a courtyard or what? It's it's just fully enclosed. It's it's a chapel. There's no there's no big bells and whistles outside of it. It's a very old okay. chapel, so they would have moved off all the all the extra stuff. And there's only the front door. Yeah, it would appear only so. Way. Well, uh, and the high w- up windows too. Well, are any of those windows broken? No. Are it's, there fairly, any, it's fairly uh, well intact. Can we tell if there are any footprints anywhere? Any large footprints anywhere near the door? Okay. Uh, roll a perception check. Uh, just regular size footprints. How high up are those windows? Uh, it's about ten feet up off the ground to reach them. <laughs> you want to stand on ground and totally back get up there? Yeah, sure. I'd do that. Um, we had a grapple if we needed it anyway. Okay, Grungar is like eight foot tall. Yeah, so, yeah, you can... <laughs> I will try to uh, still fully take a peek inside. Okay. Uh, roll an acrobatics check, too, just because you're trying to balance on his shoulders. Okay, and Grungar, just roll roll a uh, roll an athletics check. Athletics, give me a sec. Badoosh, athletics. Bam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see in. You can see through there. What's your perception check? Twenty-two. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Well. Uh, we can roll another one. That was. Yeah, you'll need to roll. Uh, yeah, yeah. Roll another one. Yeah, you can. Okay, you can see in there. It's kind of dark, but you can you can see there's a bunch of people. Well, it looks like a bunch of people that are slumped over in the uh, in the pews of the chapel, completely still. They still have their heads and such. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to stay here for a couple of minutes and just wait to see if any of them move. Okay. And I will assume that they do not. No, they don't. And then I'll get back down. And describe. Describe that there's people in there. Uh... No dragon, but it's not to say there's not still one around. Uh, but there's bodies in there that are still intact and will, in all likelihood, come and attack us. So we, sh- if we enter, we should be prepared for a f- fight. We could enter stealthily by trying to quietly break the window and get in, but that would be uh, difficult to... Enter battle since we would have to direct enter battle right away. Best to just shove the door open and charge. Grungar have no problem with this plan. Yeah, we we need to see if we can get anything out of this, anyways. See if there's anything to salvage at the very least. Thais just kind of nods. He's he's a little sad that there's that everyone's dead. Just <sighs> uh, not dead, dead. I mean, we'll make him dead, dead. Can't get so, a break. Uh... <laughs> it's okay. Grungar don't think anyone he knew is alive anymore. And again, he didn't know many people. Oh, there are people I know that are alive. Four of them are standing right here. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, I guess I try to open the door. I open the doors and never went uh, to battle fr- positions. Okay, uh, front door. Front door. It appears to be locked. Ah. Well, I will attempt to pick lock it because I can try. But uh, actually, mean white wizard. It. White wizard's trained in thievery, so. Okay. Do it, white wizard, who is being unusually silent today. He does. He doesn't. He doesn't have thieves' tools, though. So, doesn't matter. He picks it. Nice. Deftly. What's the elvish word for friend? <laughs> melon. <laughs> yep. So it word. is. It is in fact melon. Grungar, not so sure you're a wizard, but he still likes you. Are you a wizard? What's a paladin? Anyways. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he opens the door quietly, and y'all are in an anti the uh, the antechamber of the uh, place or the foyer, I guess. And I will. Uh, are, are y'all to- are y'all's tokens up to date on the main map? I believe so. All right, I will. Yep, copy. Is. I will copy you guys over to this. Yeah. Minnesota. All right, and I'll. All right. Yeah, roommate went are... home this weekend so I can finally have the lights on and actually not always be tired by the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Chapel. Great twisted tarantulas! <laughs> I forgot how much I liked Iron Tail. <laughs> Oh, there we are. Yep. Yep. Looks like we're sitting on a shield. Yep. Origi- uh, originally for this map, I did have an out, out, an exterior for it, and I thought, eh, nah. <laughs> it was just one of those things where I was like, you know, this, this exterior is kind of me. And the interior and stuff is really cool, so I just I nixed it. We'll just imagine it was the fall fall map, just right outside. Nah, not the fall maps. That was a fall forest. It's just a specific kind of area. This is more semi mountainous. Some green <laughs> fire emblem. There's literally little mountain squares just out there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's mountainous, you know, there's some. Grungar, stand on it. Suddenly they have a minus six penalty to hit you. Yep. <laughs> minus five. <laughs> you can probably get off of it there, though, because you can only move one square. Jesus, pirates, they're coming over the ocean. Well, no, D- don't don't worry, been. don't worry. That town over there, I'll take care of that and get the item from them. I'll... <laughs> Make sure that I get the item from them. We'll raid it before the pirates raid it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was the basic concept. <laughs> you assholes can't have it. I did it. What happened to Cintiq? Uh, they had best pastillas in the back. <laughs> Four them. of them. God damn it. I like so yeah, it. just needs to hang oh, back. So fun. Especially the scorpion. The scorpion would just... <laughs> it would impale multiple troops... And it was man. It was, some of them were actually man portable. You set them up like a like a machine gun almost. Yep. Yep. Light scorpions. Give me one nice. sec, guys. I'm gonna get a drink of water while y'all while y'all are lo- loading. Oh, you're all loaded. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Were any of the later Fire Emblems not on the Game Boy any good? I don't know. My roommate has a few. I might try them later. But I have thoroughly played uh, Path of Radiance. <laughs> I've never gotten to play Radiant Dawn. It's the GameCube and Wii one, respectively. Uh-huh. And, of course, uh, the best one is Awakening. But Awakening's is really is. good. Awakening's pretty great. I still think I like Fire Emblem, just Fire Emblem or Fire Emblem 7, a bit more for the characters, but... All right, so guys, uh, have y'all loaded? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the door in front of you, uh, it, the handle moves, but it appears to be uh, barred from the other side. Hmm. Should I should I attempt to use my <laughs> maul as like the SWAT? A uh, hammer thing, just keep pounding on the door until it breaks. Yeah, the key to the city. That's what that's called. Yeah. Oh, it's called the key to. C- yeah, it's called the yeah. key to the city. Yeah, literally that thing. Just keep bashing on it until eventually, like I destroy the <laughs> the integrity of the door. Might be able to. I'd say first try making a strength check to see if you can just muscle Shove through it because it, it appears to have a little bit of give. So. Okay. White wizard's gonna move out of the way. Well, let's see if I can. Strength check. You're actually able to. Uh, it, the barring on the inside is made of wood, but it's made of some pretty feeble wood. You, it's, prob- it's probably just with the. It is the original boarding for barricades, but it's just been rotted, rotted. So, yeah, you actually mm. muscle through and <laughs> open the door. The doors actually it's fly so open. Awesome. As an aside, still waiting for I can use strength of cord and just use athletic checks That's instead everybody. of strength checks. Whoa! Hello, zombies. There, yep. Ta-da! Well, told you so. And they all look back at you and... Uh... No, they're all looking forward, just kind of slumped in their pews. And then when yeah. the doors slam open... They all just kind of turn their heads. Yes, that, that's, that's and precise. only their heads that, in. That is pres- that is precisely what they do. It's kind of you just kind of hear this 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 entire group of the uh, group of zombies just, just sound one, of dry bones cracking just, as, just, it as they turn. You just hear all this one unanimous <sighs> as they all look at you. Praise God! Grunger is selling these fine leather jackets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, every, everybody, you're on the initiative list, so start rolling. Oh, you are kidding. Jeez. Again, you may, I don't want to. Still. That's the two. Man. You need to, you need, I, I think you need to do like what Aryan does and just manually roll it, because. If you feel better, I rolled a one on mine, though. So. set it either. Okay. I don't have to bother with setting it. I'm not going to make any sense. Wow, the zombie rotters have an initiative of minus one. <laughs> and a modifier of minus one. These are fast ones. Alright, white wizard is... Uh... Initiative of 10. Okay, everybody get their initiative. Looking good. Sort this bad boy. Okay, zombie rotters. First to go. Zombie rotter moves from his pew and goes right there and tries to attack Grungar with a slam attack. Nope. Wow. I have a 23 with the uh, shield bonus. Shield bonus, making so gonna move there and it's gonna attack Grungar. It's not a whole lot these others can do, so they're gonna just try to move in. Forgot Casey Kasem was Peter Cottontail. 
recognize him a mile away, though. Okay, except it's Matthias. Um. I I got nothing. I mean, it, you might. It might behoove you all to hold your turns until Sinti can go. Although she does go at the very bottom. The only thing I could really use is bless, but nah, this doesn't seem like it'll be much of a. I think we'll mow through them pretty readily. So. Yeah, if, if everyone does want to wait till Sinti goes, it just means she goes at the top, and then we all go after her. Well, I only say because the other. Yeah. Are there any zombies that haven't gone yet? Because they still can move, though, so... Yeah, it would be the soldiers, normal zombies, and dust zombie. We'll probably yeah. go before them. will hold. Okay, mm. just toggle to hold, then. I'll toggle mm. it. There it is. Okay, next up is zombie soldier. Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. Moves I found there. the button and the lesson was learned. Okay, White Wizard. White Wizard is going to... He's going to move like this and provoke an opportunity attack from uh, Zombie Rider 12. Who is going to take a minus two to this. So if you want a Grungar, go ahead and use your... Okay, that totally hits. It dies. Well, let's see if it dies. Oh, he won't go down. So he's gonna ah. he's gonna make his uh, slam attack. He's gonna take a minus two to this. He misses. And then White Wizard is going to use his uh, Eldritch Bolt on uh, Zombie Rotter Four. Let's see if he dies. He won't go down. So that's a uh, white wizard's turn. So zombies go. Zombies, they really don't know what to do. They're kind of blocked in where they are, so they're going to. That's they're not going to really do anything. Hey Mick. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the ones in front of you coming back to life. I want to drop those two, or should I? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. And we're okay. gonna attack them in front of me. Alright. Yep, that hits. He's he's okay. dead. And we're doing this. Okay. So that one dies. Let's see. That one dies. And he doesn't. Okay. Then we're Hmm. I guess we'll be shifting here. Okay. Like my second attack against this guy. Okay. Yep. He goes down. Nice. And then I get to shift back. Nice. Very nice. Activate plan Grungar wall. <sighs> yeah, and I don't need to take a move action. Okay. So next up is uh, Grungar. Oh, please hold for Cintiq to go. Oh, sure, why not? Gungar will hold. Okay. Alright, so next up is the dust zombie. And he starts moving around this way. Oh, that asshole. Oh well. He's just making his way around. So it's uh, Sintiq's turn now. Okay. It's probably a bit stupid, but I kind of can't resist. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, hmm. Do, 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 do. Now, the only question is, where should I put the close blast five? Yeah. Because I can get a pretty large chunk at once. Da, da, da. 
That's yeah. what I suggest. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, great seven, burning hands. Eight. <laughs> I imagine you, you like hold out your staff and like wave it around like it's a flamethrower. Pretty much, yeah. I might regret this, but let's see, eight attacks. No, I got you covered. And <laughs> oh wow! Oh okay. god, right. you crit something. So let's see here. Yeah, okay. just do read yeah, order. Uh, zombie four dies. He just zombie four just straight up dies. So Grungar goes right. Matthias will go left. Um. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. So let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Zombie four straight up dies. So let's see here. Who did it? Uh, like it's it'll be easier. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number. Wow, it even hit number six. Yeah, it hit them all. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So let, let's, let's start off with seeing if the zombie rotters die real quick. He's destroyed. He's destroyed. He's destroyed. All right. Let's see here. Let me look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Target number seven was an 18 versus reflex. Okay, yeah, they all have crap for reflex, so you 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 ch you chose wisely. All right, so 17 fire damage. There's no half damage here. Yep. Also on zombie soldier one, hit him with hellfire hurt, so he can take an additional six fire damage. All right. Yeah, you just walked in with a flamethrower and said, We're here to throw down! <laughs> Very much like Master Shake. Yep. Alright, so give me one sec. I have to select them all and... 17... 17... 17... 17... Dang. Yeah, you just... You just walked in and <laughs> everything died. That's why I was like, I, I just... Cintiq, Cintiq walks into a bar with a staff. There were no survivors. It's not a joke. It's, <laughs> there is no stating that happens. I'm, I just thought I might say that. So, uh, did y'all want to hold... So, the guys who were holding their turn, did any of y'all want to go? Yeah, I think we're going to yeah. go. Grungar wants uh, to go? Yeah. And right. I'm going to unhold... I'm actually going to move... Here, and okay. my reasoning is, um, I'm that way basically yes, yeah, Cintiq's in your aura. She's in my aura. In addition to like, she would still be here, but the difference is now yeah. I'm literally blocking them. Yeah. And I'm not actually going to prepare an attack. I'm going to total defense. Okay. Basically, I want them to hit me. Okay. That works. All right. So uh, Matthias, I guess you want to go ahead and. Yep. All right, let me let me move you on down. Do, 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 do. Hang on. There we go. I tell you, this and is like the best day for Cintiq. Yeah. No, you had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You started off by nuking everybody really well with that uh, daily, and you weren't even here. <laughs> and uh, prepare a blessing of light. All right. A zombie. All right, any zombie that gets okay. All righty. Next up, we're back to the zombie rotters. Zombie Rider 8 moves here. And he's going to try to take a swing at Cintiq. So go ahead and Grungar. Make an attack against him. Alright. He's destroyed. This Zombie Rider, he's just going to have to make his way over here. He can't charge you because he's, he's having to shimmy down the pew. <laughs> the yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Right. Kind of like knocking your knee against the side. Yeah, so he's gonna, yeah. So he's gonna try to slam you. Is that hit? Mm. That just matches. Oh dang. Okay. That's that's okay. It's not. Could have been worse damage. I'll take high hit chance with low damage any day. Yep. Zombie Rider Ten is going to shimmy over this way too. You can move full speed through here. You just can't, like, charge or anything like that. 
Makes sense. Anyways, Matthias, I think, gets oh, yeah. trap yeah. card activated. Yeah, Matthias, do you think? <laughs> da, da, da. If I can spell roll correctly. Versus AC, no. that that yeah. hits. That that hits exactly. Oh. <laughs> Is it radiant damage? Yeah, blessing of light. Okay, he he dies. He just falls over. And yeah, he doesn't he, he doesn't get a special deathless hunger thing. What was the effect? It's we'll the it resistance. Rungar. Yeah. No, that's blessing about. This one is if you get hit, they take two radiant damage. Oh yes, Grungar still. He's uh, his whole purpose one right now is attack. to your tank. <laughs> hit me. This zombie can only make it this far, so he's gonna attack Matthias. Oh no! No, never mind. It's the target hits you. Okay, never mind. That probably misses. Yeah. Oh, he's doing already then. He had to double move to get there, so that's his turn. No more rotters, okay. Zombie soldier. He's gonna shift here. And he's gonna use his long sword against you. And he misses. Clang. Clank, yep. Alright. He moves up here. He's going to. He's just. He's just going to use his uh, moonfire blade on a uh, zombie rotter. Oh, he Ooh. botches. Does that an I think, effect? I think, the target no, no, anything? it's no, it's not. It's if it's. A hit. I just. It, I just had to do a. I just had to do a break. I just had to do a slash br so it would uh, wouldn't be so messy on the screen. Just for right. personal reference. Yeah, if if it is an effect, I always put effect next to it. Okay. But yeah, man, I I can see Aryan Aryan is Aryan was right for him. I just need to I just need to roll without without using the macros. Okay, now it's, <laughs> now it's the zombies' turns, and they are kind of they are kind of pissed. This one moves up here, and he's going to try to get you, Grungar, with a slam attack. Okay. Oh, Howie. He kind of does. Whoop. This one shifts right here. Oh, hang on. Oh, Jerry, she's supposed to leave your keyboard right here. You know what's sad is it barely hits me to begin with, even with a crit. Yep. He's going to slam with combat advantage. Uh oh. Any botches. This one moves right here. He's going to try to slam you as well. That nope. actually misses. Freaking total defense, man, I swear. That's why I did it. Okay, and that one double moved there, so that's his turn. Is that it? Okay. Now we're on to Hamic. Okay, I think we'll move and charge this guy. Well, I guess I, I can't. I can only no, get to can. there. Yeah. Will I be taking cover from that? Uh, he's got, yeah, he's got, cover. he's got cover. No, I don't want to be in charging ground. I want to be in the other one. Okay. But I am charging. Okay. Yeah, you totally hit. Let's see if he dies. He's destroyed. Okay. So now I can get out of here. Because I get the shift, and then I can make my other attack. Yep. So, 16 against 3. That hits. Let's see if he dies. He is destroyed. And you know what? My niece I'll is get that bad. Out. And that'll be everything. Okay. The dust zombie is going to move around this way, and he's going to try to charge at uh, the white wizard. And he misses. That's his turn. Charge Cintiq. 
And you have staff expertise now. Yep. You dirty bread baker. Oh. Even if she didn't, she could just shift back one. She'll probably do the after trying... this. <laughs> the triangle of defense. So, no, if you d if Rhombus you didn't... of terror. Targeting these three. If Gar them with if okay. Gargar wasn't such a suck about taking damage, you could hit five of them. But getting hit by fire. Yeah. Sadly, oh, right. reflex, reflex zombies do not have. That hits them all. They all take nine fire damage. Yeah. Yeah. That was minimum damage. But still, hitting three of them, that became 27, so. Okay. And who do? Let me see. Good old crowd control. And yeah, it is prudent to shift back one. Okay. My niece is mad. She's getting ready for bed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next up is Grungier. Okay, zombie soldier. Let's try to hit you with... Uh... Ooh. Um, I apparently had not updated this. Give me a sec. I need to edit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's the one with Savage Cut still. That's the only difference between the two. East Ku... Savage cut though is really good with that with that weapon. <laughs> uh huh. I, I mean, but, but yeah, you I, need I, you need you need a little bit more martial damage, like like a little heavier martial damage dealing. I just so need you can like remain in tank form. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just, just need counters that don't forms. trigger it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It's um forty eight. It's gonna be thirty two max. <sighs> Okay, let's hope I did the all the correct fixes. Zombie soldier one, let's try to hit you with batter down. Batter down. Batter down, batter up. Yeah, it totally hits. Okay. Okay. Uh let's see here. Well zombie one, man, he was he was dead. He had six HP left. So mm -hmm. let's see here. So twenty one. And now you go into your berserker fury. Yep. Alright, so See here. Let's see if this guy dies real quick. Nope, he won't go down. Four, four, four. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. You are you are you're you're zerkin now. You're in zerker stance. And I shift back one. Get rid of my aura. Okay. And ask Matthias, please heal. And that's my turn. All right. Heal plots. You need you need the one where when you go into Berserker Fury, you get like temp HP equal to your healing surge. I do, I do. But I'll pick that up later. Oh yeah, you need a toughness totally. All right. Uh -huh. um, we'll toss Grungar a heal. You can spend a healing surge if you want. Yeah. I advise <laughs> that when, when I roll low. <laughs> Uh, gr for whatever reason, Gungar says, fuck that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> hey, can you heal me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, just pats you on the arm. <laughs> Light as a feather, stiff as a board. This is no time for conjuring. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll use Sunburst. Okay. On zombie number three. Alrighty. Rolling bones. 19. Yep, that hits. Thirteen. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. Damage. And everybody, Get everyone within five squares gets five temporary hit points. Eighteen. Hey. Man, he is. You stagger him really good. For the record, remember that pretty much every enemy except for zombie ones granting combat advantage right now. Yeah, that's true. Just a reminder. <laughs> well, yeah, dust zombie one and uh, regular zombie one. No, okay. it's a uh, burst two. Oh, that's right. That's right. So yeah. that's why zombie one's the only one not affected. That is, that's correct. <clears throat> so, nice. Okay, so zombie rotter. We have one zombie rotter left, and he is going to try to attack Grungar because Grungar is evil. <laughs> uh, oh, he's gonna. 
Does Calm oh. Advantage in there? Oh no, it's not. No, it's, it's yeah. Not. So he's gonna he's going to he's gonna match. Damn you, zombie! <laughs> that temp HP. It's so right. short lived. And that's that's all he can do. That's all he can really do, because <laughs> they don't really have a sense of self preservation, so they don't generally backtrack. Right. He's not gonna be like, oh, I'm going to get away from this now. <laughs> all right. So it's the White Wizard's turn because Zombie Soldier's dead as a doornail. White Wizard is going to turn his attention to Dust Zombie 1. He's going to use his Moonfire Blade. That's actually 26. I forgot. 12 Radiant Damage. <laughs> also this. White Lotus Repost. The best feat he could ever have. Until Paragon, we can get Master White Lotus Repost, which is even more dangerous. Okay, so 12, so 17 Radiant Damage. Okay, Zombie not, or Zombie. Alright, Zombie 3 is going to try to attack Matthias. With a slam. Oh, snap. That misses. Zombie 1 is going to charge. He misses. Zombie 5 is going to move here and he's going to try to hit Grungar. Yeah, that's going to hit. I forgot to add the combat advantage, but yeah. I might as well use it. Uh, get down, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, that's uh... right. Don't take the 8 damage, Grungar. Okay, I will heal. Womp. All right, so you get okay. You actually okay. That did hit you. Yeah, that did. Okay. All right, go ahead and make your melee basic. It's granting combat advantage. So. Yes. Yes, still is. Ah. That hits. They're ah. AC. They are <laughs> the brutes. Wow, you're wow. You have a really high. Uh, oh wait, that's plus. That's only a four. Plus four? Okay, five plus four is... No, that wouldn't have hit. Yeah. No, Wait. No, that wouldn't have hit. That would have been nine. <laughs> oh, I meant the... I meant the damage, but... What is... Your, yeah, oh. what is what is your uh, melee basic? Um, 1d20 plus seven. Seven? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so it did uh, hit. Minus, okay, yeah. Let's see here. And then... Okay, that so that, yeah, that did, that did, that that that's right. Okay, I was just saying that, the damage. So that's, that's what the nine, that's what the nine was for. Okay, because it was combat advantage. Yeah, I was just saying that the damage should be four because I read the okay. one below it. So, and then I take eight. Yeah. There is actually a better theme if you want to retrain at next level. The ordained priest. At first level, you get either a melee attack encounter or a holy or an implement attack, which is like a ranged one. Hmm. And they're they're pretty freaking good. But like you be, you become an ungodly good healer. With some uh, I'll probably stuff. just see how far I can stretch this thing out. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just like guardian because it relies so much on the uh, relies so much on melee basic for that thing. But anyway, it's a. Uh, let's see here. Zombie 5. Zombie 2, he's going to have to work his way around. To there. And that's where he's going to end. And that's all of them. So it's Hamek's turn. If you would hold your turn after Grungar, I could move out of your way. Yeah, or I could attack Zombie 1. We'd cover, but yeah, sure. Can I get these pews are difficult terrain? Uh, no, they're not difficult terrain. It's kind of block. You you would need it. You would yeah. need an, like an a acrobatics check. Or an a actually, an athletics. No, it's acrobatics to jump over it. But through here, like like a cro yeah, crossways, you cro cro cross crossways you can walk mm. just fine. You just can't charge through it. Can I even get into combat advantage anyway? If it drops. Oh yeah, and it would be uh, athletics because you're jumping. No. 
I'll just hold. You hold? Okay. Alright, so it's Dust Zombie. And the stupid zombie behind him kind of messed everything up. <laughs> He's going to move away. Because when you threaten something with radiant damage, you know. It wants to run. Yes, so he's going to try to he's going to try to hit a uh, white wizard. It started adjacent to him or something, so it doesn't take five radiance. Oh, it's end its turn next to it. Okay. But he's, he's just, he's so just going to auto. He's going to auto. He's going to auto. Yeah, he's going to automatic. It's not like on a hit. It's just automatic if he attacks. Yes. It's oh, freaking. Yeah. It's freaking nuts. So he's taking ten damage because he's trying to attack. Yep. <laughs> and then he's going. So now he's going to try to use his claw attack. Does that hit his AC? Yes, it hits his AC. Nine damage, and he is grabbed. Oh, that's probably the stupidest thing you could do. You end its turn adjacent to him. You fool, take oh, seven see. radiant. He takes, yeah, he takes, he takes seven more damage. And he's got one HP left, so the, he's not, so yeah. He, he just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you bloody fool. And he doesn't still hunger because he uh, kind of died from radiant damage. It's kind of a suicide by cop thing. Cintiq. Oh, look. There's five up there that she can hit. Not five, four. Three. Three. <laughs> Zombie soldier yeah. one's dead. Oh, isn't he? Oh. His, <laughs> his face was smashed in by Gungar. Oh, okay. So it is three. Yeah, pretty hard, too. You could have just at-willed him to death. He had six HP. <laughs> Assuming a little probably would be a better idea right now. Okay. Well, it'd still be the same three then. So zombie three, zombie five, and zombie rotter. So right on. First. You'd be hard. Yeah, you'd be hard pressed to miss these guys. Their reflex is terrible. Zombies have reflex of nine. Rotters have a reflex of ten. So. I, I can't miss them except on a botch because that automatically misses. Yeah. So yeah, and he that one instantly dies because he was already doing his deathless hunger thing. So nine fire damage, nice. Yeah, Cintiq, you are just a killing machine. All right, uh, Grungar. Okay, no, oh, I can take oh, the turn now. Okay. Right. Uh, we're still in shiftiness. So we'll attack this guy. Wow. Well, that hits. I guess that damage. with Trevor is 16, but... It, it still hits. They have crap yeah. AC. They're, they're, still... a they're a brute type. Yeah. 14 damage. And I will shift here. 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 Very nice. And make my other attack. Okay. 14. That sucks. That, uh, that it still, one it still hits. It, yeah, it that one was under yeah. combat advantage. <laughs> not not just that. They, yeah, they actually, I included even, combat even, advantage. Even, with that. Yeah, even without combat advantage, yeah, it's, it would still hit. Nineteen damage. All right. You might be dead. Yep. Okay. Okay. Is anything else? Because that was a. You still have. Uh, did see. you want to move or anything like that or? Okay. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Grungar. Okay, Zombie 1. You're technically... No, you're not granting combat advantage. Arr. No, he isn't. Arr. Oh, no, he wasn't. That's right. <laughs> you... F oh, I can't... I couldn't do what I wanted to do now. Arr. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the eye thing. <laughs> Just punch it. I could ignore it and hit the you're other probably, you one. You could probably blow on this zombie and it would fall over. Okay. Uh, um, just this thing. Okay, yeah, that hits. And he had 9 HP, so... Oh, well, um... <laughs> 20... God, this is weird. Gunger lets, likes to r roll more damage than he can hit. Yep. Yep. 
his damage roll is higher than his attack roll. It's a common thing he likes to do. He'll roll like a 12 on hit, but he's rolling 20 damage. You want to do anything else, sir? Man, just... Uh, There's no real reason for me to start moving over. Okay. Matthias. I just get in everyone's way, actually. <laughs> hmm. So one left. Yep. Mm -hmm. One, two... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Blessing of Light. All right. Is it still granting combat or no? I can just nah. imagine you just kind of leaning over the view like, hey. <laughs> okay. Conk. Yeah, that hits. Sadly, no con. This isn't the first time I've reached over a pew to smack someone. It won't be the last. Yep. Okay, 11 radiant damage. Okay, yep. So 16. Does it <laughs> die? <laughs> oh. May Grungar be the black hole of heels. Alright, I have one healing word left. Who wants it? Uh, White Wizard. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, how White Wizard took took some damage. Not a okay. lot. Uh, he, actually, no, he's not going to take the healing word. Actually, he can, because he just won't spend a healing surge. He'll just use the extra... He'll just, he'll just, he'll just heal for the extra heal HP. Because you don't have to spend a healing surge. Oops. Okay, he'll, he'll take the extra thing. I'll just become a black hole of, yeah, surges for myself. I have plenty. I'm a tank. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Anyways, I do my... <laughs> the the music starts up again. Dun, 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 yeah. So what do you do? You all want to move these bodies somewhere else? <laughs> well, <laughs> pile pile them in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because there's like are these doors back here. Yeah, those are doors. Okay, I drew so this map. Wait, right, I like how those, you like how the beams of light are coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Representing the windows. Yes. Either of the doors locked? Uh you'd have to check it. Very sneakily check them. Just to uh, see if they're locked. No, they're not locked. Okay. Uh does it look like the blood was dragged in or out? It looks like it's in. Yep. Going in. upwards. So there's probably something behind that one, that door. Yeah, it appears to have been something severely mauled here and then dragged away. Does anybody want to check, like, does a pulpit? <laughs> yeah. Or clunk clunk. Conger found a pamphlet that says Jesus is your Lord and Savior. He don't understand. Who's this Jesus oh, that's because guy? That's, that's Never heard pale, of him. Not Jesus. I, 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 I can't believe I accidentally made the chapel. We, we got it. We made it to the chapel on Good Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even true. think about that. I thought Good Friday. Well, was sweet. Three, three days. These zombies will rise again. <laughs> okay, they but any, will. anyway, uh, that was their problem. Up, they didn't get Jesus up here head there off. Is, Yeah. <laughs> up here, there is a. Moving the head or destroying the brain. Yeah, but uh, Matthias, you actually you actually find uh, it appears to be an ancient ancient uh, scroll of some kind. It's written in a holy language you understand. No, oh, neat. But it's not a it's. But if you read it, it appears to be not a complete prayer. It's only like half of it. Um, religion. Do I know the rest? Or could guess enough at the arrest. Oh. No. <laughs> These words aren't back. And deliver us so from good. chickens. Oh god, I skipped that day. <laughs> now, I'm not really doing this, but this is the obligatory can Grungar do it better roll. 
Oh god damn it! <laughs> you yeah, unfortu- unfortunately you can't speak the uh, it's it's ba- uh, it's basically Latin. Yeah, I understand. It's, he it's, would not it's, be it's, able to understand it. It's special. It's in. It's I just kind of house ruled it as you know, if you're if you're a man of the cloth, you understand like church language. Yeah, no, I understand. That was just my obligatory. Can Grungar do it better? And he did. So if he uh, could understand. Yeah. So he make. Do you want to open this door? I want to listen at the door. Okay. We'll pocket the. You don't hear anything. Scroll. I want to peek inside Absolutely. the door. Okay. Good. Go ahead and jiggle your token. I see an ominous corner. Peek around the corner. Okay. (laughs) Gringar will open this door. Okay. And he will peek around the corner. As it, it appears to be some stairs going down, Hemic. All right, now what order are you guys going to uh, be going down the stairs? Uh, Grungar, everyone else. Okay, Hemic, Grungar, everyone else. Uh, White Wizard, Grungar, White fo- Wizard Grungar can... followed by everyone else. Well, yeah, wait, how it's... dark is it down there? It's pretty dark. I mean, there's some torch sconces that you might be able to light up, but it's it's freaking dark. Is it dark enough people, that low, light. low light can't see? Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those situations. Doesn't someone have like light things? Uh, Matthias can light light stuff up, and White Wizard can actually see in the dark, and he can see down the hallway a ways. Yeah, yeah so I guess White, White Wizard takes there. point. Yeah, White Wizard will take point. Uh, he'll mm. roll. Let, let him roll a stealth check real quick. I guess Matthias goes somewhere in the like middle then. Yeah. His stealth check is a nine. I think we'll be near the back. Dull. Stop trying to be sneaky. He's got a plus <laughs> nine. Just, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know you suck at sneaking when the eight-foot bugbear is somehow <laughs> blending into the shadows. Yep. Matthias isn't even really trying. He has a minus two. Yeah. Bugbears well, anyway, are actually part octopus. Anyway, I'll go ahead and copy all to the next map. <laughs> Does anybody even want to start start to make a light or anything like that? Uh, Matthias will make his mace glow. Okay. How How long is the reach on that? Um, 20 feet. Area burst 20 feet? Yeah. Okay. Burst 4. Yeah, there is is actually a lit torch. Uh, Oh, not really a lit torch. There is some light, just some residual light from just being, you know. Right. Well, she can also grab a torch from, like, the wall and carry it with her. Unless they're locked (laughs) in. Uh, yeah, there are no lit torches down here. They're unlit. Press the digitation okay. spark into one to light it. She'll take it away. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. That works. All right, uh, she can wield her staff with one hand anyway, so... Yeah, because it's just... You're just... Oh, yeah. But you want the plus one damage to melee. No, uh, staff, staff's technically a two-handed weapon, so I don't know if you'd be able to... Be... Oh. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah. Even with the staff implement, you do have to wield it in two hands. I forgot. Oh, staff implement. Oh no, that's why it has an. Has it just has the offhand property? I always get that confused. It does. Oh, that's because it has staff two implement. Hands. Yeah. That's odd. Well, I mean, I mean, there, there's, there's, there's a type of there, hands. there's actually a thing called staff fighting, which allows you to. Wield the staff as a double weapon, gains the stout property and the offhand property. Well, yeah, but you can just treat it as a quarter staff. Yeah. Plus two, 1d8. But yeah, it's, it's a two hander. Oh, well done. I think, man, now I gotta look it up because uh, I'm probably wrong now that well, I we, think about it. Well, we can just go. 
I can I can look it up. I got the compendium. Because yeah, if you if you want to be wielding some, if you want to be wielding a torch and a staff, I'll I'll just look it up. That actually would be good to know because later on you can maybe wield like a wand. Uh, just for like effects that they can do. That's odd. I'll have to look it up in the actual character builder because it's not telling me much in the. Well, let's see here. Items. Staff implement here. Yeah, you still have to wield it in two hands. Okay then. It's just too it's just too long and unwieldy, I think, is the deal. Kinda like how a rod is is kinda like a one handed walking stick, you know? Oh well. I mean she was gonna stick in Matthias's light anyways, it was just so they would have a backup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Light source, generic for... Oh, he's already got it on there. Okay. Um, uh, she, she will light them along the way, though, as they're going down anyways. Okay. Yeah, I'll have, like, a little thing off to the side that, uh... I'll have to... Let me, uh, get, like, a little, a little invisible light source thing, so... Yeah, but just, like, a thing as they pass. She'll just put, like, a little spark in each one, so... Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, I'll put something on the invisible layer. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, there we go. Under chapel. Might help if I loaded that map. Yep, Under Chapel is the name of the map. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, yeah. If y'all want to, this is kind of a dun. This is a dungeon, so y'all, if y'all want to, go ahead and I'll add you to the initiative, and you can, uh, you know, just roll <laughs> one initiative, and you can keep it. Yeah, and just kind of keep it. And so, Dill, roll your initiative without the uh, without the macro and see what happens. <laughs> just as an experiment. Mm, I don't know what my initiative is, though. Hey, you got for you or anything like that? I can't check it until the map loads. Your initiative? Yeah. I don't have the character builder. I find. just have to wait until this is loads. All right. It just says, yeah, your initiative is built into, like, dex plus... It doesn't have, like, just a modifier in the macro. Dex plus, dex plus half level, yeah. Okay. Which I guess should be plus six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll roll it once it's loaded. Yeah, it's a pretty big map, I guess. Actually, no, it's... Well, maybe it's big. It's got a lot of noise to it. Home Rentals doesn't have as much memory as I usually give it, because I didn't fiddle with that stuff yet. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, halfway decent. I think that's an 11 for me? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, the zombies are just not being as much of a challenge to you. <laughs> I... Won't complain. I mean, they still... Oh, there you go. Still you didn't even... Be me pretty well. That was a 20. Yeah. Part of it's probably just been the fact that Cintiq's been able to get off a couple of very good just AOE Novas. Right. <laughs> well, that's generally what we want to happen. Yep. 
I can tell you that, at least from what I remember with Jarson, my wizard, whenever he couldn't really get off his Novus is when we had tough fights. Yeah. You can't spell Jarson without arson. so nice so I'm like oh man there's a huge pile of them up there <laughs> let everyone let me go first yay eight targets at once yeah you got them with yeah burning hands is ungodly good on top of that you're tifling so you know you know and you got that Power bon you got that innate power bonus to fire attacks. In addition to the flat, uh, the untyped bonus from the feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That theme just gives you. Oh yeah, you just get a plus one power bonus to fire attacks. You just need to remember that if someone gives you a power bonus for something else, it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta, it's, yeah. you gotta watch that. But yeah. I was like, well, it's not a problem with how our party is right now, so. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, so is everybody loaded? I'm loaded. Doll. Oh. He moves like undead. <laughs> Alright, roll call. Who is on? Who is loaded? I think I'm loaded. We'll be at this point. Emix loaded, loaded. Cintiq's loaded, Matthias, Grungar, yep. and White Wizard. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we'll waste a bunch of time because I accidentally for I, I keep waiting for y'all to say that y'all are loaded and y'all already are. <laughs> but anyway, so let's sort this bad boy. Emix, oh, I guess I guess y'all whoever wants to go down can go. I'd say White Wizard because he can move without any light. Sure. I mean, I'd need to get light done on to have a light source in order to go forward. Okay. Uh, he's right at the cusp of Grungar, Grungar and Cintiq. He looks back at Grungar, and he kind of he kind of signals that there are that there's something down there. Oh. Grungar. Yeah. He, uh, he walks. He walks back. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you could just stealth down there with him. I'm just moving really slowly, though, so I don't yeah. take the bone down. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he, te he, he quietly tells you that up ahead there are some zom there's a zombie, but it is, it appears to be pinned to the wall by, uh, by some, by a spike trap that it must have tripped. Uh-uh. I'll make... Make my way back to the rest of group. Uh, traps. Grungar no light dungeons. They trap the under chapel. She's going to turn to Matthias and raise an eyebrow behind the mask so he can't under see it. Trapple. It is very clear. Yeah, different customs, I guess. Uh, Matthias, if you want to roll a religion or history check. Uh, I'll do religion. I don't, do I have history trained? Hmm. Actually, Actually since you could so. probably roll a history. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, you have to remember, my town was attacked and destroyed. I haven't been in a chapel for like six years now. Let's see. I haven't been in a library ever. <laughs> I wasn't old. I wasn't old enough. You're pretty. To come you're, down here. Yeah, you're. You're pretty sure that the chapel above was just built on top of this, and this is a much older ruin. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Your church is not as fun as I thought it might have been. Now let's get going. <laughs> it's not as kinky. <laughs> you guys, not as badass. Okay. But anyway, uh, yeah. <coughs> Hmm. Are we gonna move forward with lights? Cause I can't see after a certain point. Yeah, we just need someone who can check for traps as best they can. It's not um, Cintiq. 
Not the bugbear. I have plus five perception. I think I have five perception as well. Well, six perception. And like a... Eleven in thievery. Yeah. So yeah, I guess have Hemek and Matthias lead the way looking for traps. Unless the White Wizard wants to try doing so, but... I don't think he has good perception. And no, it's White kind Wizard of, does not have good perception. And it's kind of wrong I to mean, use you can see in the dark, but you might not be able to spot a pressure plate. Yeah. You're kind of wrong to use the NPC player to face check them. Not, I would so never do just that. Roll, should we just roll the perception and see what happens? I, mean, I can roll one, but I can't see more than like the two squares in front of me. Okay. So unless there's traps on the bottom of the stairs... There don't appear to be traps on the bottom of the stairs. Like down to here, there you don't see any traps. Yeah, this is like as far as I can go. Unless you want to just put a light so yeah, that I can easily. Turn yeah, you make, you make you get uh, like you, you see this zombie is still alive, but it's it's thrashing about. Uh, yeah, he make as you step there. Well, you, you trigger a trap. Is it? You feel a pre you feel pressure going out from underneath you, and uh, this happens. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so you only take uh, two damage. Okay. We'll go ahead and pass Sun's glow on to Hemic. So I can do it on any target. Yeah. So I can. And this zo this zombie is practically yeah. This Helpless. Zombie. Yeah, it's it's helpless. So yeah, he's not alive anymore. Yeah, he, he dies. What is the light source? Um, you, I'm basically passing the light source. Yes, but what size is it? It's a uh, four. generic four. Generic four. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Is there the spikes all the way across, or just can we like get by them here? It's tri it tripped like right here. You would have to kind of. Acrobatics your way over them. Well, it'd be uh, athletics to jump. Oh no, no, it's it's not like you're jumping jump. over them. You're kind of you're kind of having to bound through them. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, like, like uh, the cr like some crazy person doing backflips through a uh, well, first through a bunch will, of laser uh, wires. Uh, oh, uh, don't step. There. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I wanted to just move off the square to where okay. I could try and disable this. Okay. Well, no, it's it's been it's been triggered. It's been okay. once it's been Never triggered. Mind. It's it's just out there. Okay. So. Uh, as you step there, another one triggers. What is the perception check for? What. Or was your perception? Yeah, you didn't make the perception well, check. Well, no, I haven't gotten to check for these. I, I thought know. your perception was a 14. My passive is a 16, if that's any better. No. So, yeah, that's probably, probably just 5 damage then. I suppose there's another one right in front. You can assume if you want to. Well, if there's no way to disable them and no way to or no, you can dis you can disable the trap beforehand. It was just that you'd already sprung the trap. You get what I mean? I is it these spikes or not? I don't. What do you mean? No, I don't know. Even know what I'm getting hit by. 
It's uh, like okay. Like, let I don't me, have let me lay down. Yeah, I'm, let me. I'm even getting hit by or what I'm tripping here. Okay, you. There was a spike trap that popped out from here, and there was a spike trap that popped out. From oh, here. I'm getting hit by question marks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, try flipping them horizontal or vertical. Hang on. <laughs> that might make them load. Hang on. I see them on mine. Yeah, I'm just I'm sending them to back right now. Yeah. They need to be set as an overhead token in order to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hit. But anyway, that it's like wherever there's a question mark, you know. It's... Okay. That's uh, like I'll lay down more. I'll lay down more if you uh, can. Well, I didn't see any more, so I can't yeah. disable anything that I can't see. Right. And what is that state even on the zombie? Is that restrained? It's uh, it's restrained. Uh, I, I put immobilized, but That's he not. is restrained. And okay. Okay. Uh, uh, can I get the rope tossed to me? I want to see if I can just pull this thing off of restrained. Okay. Someone to I, I would assume someone just tosses a rope to you. You'll have to make a lasso, okay. but you know. So Probably roll like a longer. just a, roll a, roll a roll a thievery check and then roll like a just flat dexterity check to try to lasso him. Nice. Okay, you make a really good lasso. Let's see if you hit him. Uh... Actually, range basic. Let's do range basic. Well, that's going to be the same as a dex, because I'm not Wait, trained yeah, yeah. in lasso. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, dex and half level. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you rope him. Okay, pull him. All right, you pull him. Uh, which square do you want to pull him to? Uh, whatever. Okay. Either one. Uh, make a strength check. It's not going to be a very hard DC one, but just... Because he is on some spikes, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, you wrench him off. And he goes right there, and... Did you want him to go there? Because you could move him to either one. Whichever one, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna... Okay. Pull him well, on he, all of them. Go, anyway. He goes there, and sure enough, some more spikes pop out. And ki and I'm just gonna say they kill him. Okay. We pull his corpse onto the other squares. Okay. You pull him over, and sure enough, it triggers some more spikes. And do you want to just try to, like, like clear out? Just kind of clear yeah, out. Yeah, we're just yeah, you know, you know, we're just impaling. We're turning this zombie into Swiss cheese. Okay. To this square, to this square, and then I guess I'll try and get him onto this square. You'll have to drag him over the top of those spikes, though. It's going to be a little. Well, it'd be like a I'd like try throwing him. Yeah, that's another. Or I'd I'd throw the largest part of him that is left. Okay, that's a strength check. No. More question marks. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, in order to get through these things, acrobatics again? Yeah. Yep, you do it easy. And I'll just make sure there's no more directly in front. You don't see any. Okay. Can I just peek around a corner here? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's a, it's a double door. Oh, those are doors? Yeah, the, there's a door. There's a double door right here. Sorry, from from your point of view, you don't... Like like the way the way the uh, vision block yeah, layer is. But there there is a double door just like right here. And these things... Uh, they're torch sconces, but you also notice that there is a there is a uh, this torch sconce appears to have like some weird mechanism attached to it. Okay, I'll wave everyone over. Okay, move there so you got light.
It's interesting. So we're basically seeing Hemic kind of like dodge and squeeze through these spikes, right? Yeah. Yeah. After uh, throwing a zombie body around, triggering them all. Because screw that perception stuff. <laughs> yeah, like I said though, Hemic, you do this torch sconce here does have what appears to be a mechanism above it. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna let everyone else get across. Uh, get across and okay, it's gonna be kind of difficult for them. What kind of is the mechanism like? This looks like a. Uh, it looks it looks kind of like a wheel attached to the uh, to the torch sconce. Wheel. Like, what does it look like it's supposed to do? You would have to roll, like, a dungeoneering check. I'm trained in that. Okay. It's not any good, but I'm trained... Ooh. It is a key. lever. <laughs> the torch sconce is, in fact, a lever. Okay. Once everyone's across, I'll, uh... Just first make sure that the doors can't just be opened quietly. Oh, it's that gang across part that's kind of stopping okay. me here, because she has no acrobatics. Yeah, it's having them. To... You just carry her? That's what I'm pondering. <laughs> Teak, with all her pride, is going to ask Runger if she can ride piggyback on him through there. Because there's no way there's she's no getting way to, that to like, except... unlock the door. Say what? Is there any? There's no uh, keyhole or anything for unlocking the door. Yeah, there is. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we'll try that first. Uh, you unlock the door quite deftly. And see if we can quiet. Well, we'll check if it's if I. Are you trained? The, uh, I didn't realize you were trained in theory. That's awesome. Oh yeah, I'm trained in theory. I will check if either the door or the lever is trapped. Lever's not trapped. Door is not trapped. Okay. How heavy is the door? It's a pretty thick door. And it's kind of hard. It, like, if you... if you Do you want to try to open it? I was going to try and quietly open it. Okay, as you do it... The, you, you meet some resistance on the other side. And you hear kind of a crunchy sound. Do you want to push it further or no? Uh, is there any crack in it to see in now? Uh, barely, yeah. Is Let there me, anything? Uh, yeah, hang on, hang on. I'll just, yeah, sure. I'll, 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 I'll draw you a little, a little hole yeah. here. Meanwhile, everyone else is just trying, like, how do we get through here? Jiggle your token. There you go. Oh, well, that looks like uh There there's a oh, is is your light still showing? The light I would the light will be on something that I can easily like cup and turn off. Okay, cuz as you as your as your light does kind of shine in there, the zombies kind of <sighs> look over at it. I I I have it like on a coin or something I can just like make it so that the light doesn't shine okay. or shines like the, just enough that I can I guess I wouldn't be able to see in, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to see in if you. Well, it'll be that. it'll be quiet, and I'll see if I can hear anything then. Okay. You hear zombies gone. <laughs> okay. I will wave everyone over again. Okay. Uh, so everybody's going to try to make acrobatics checks to get through these spikes. Oh, what would the well. other options be? Uh, acrobatics. Maybe, uh... <sighs> Clearly what Matthias should do roll, is he should grab a the... shield and try to skate yeah. across. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you a gimme here. Why don't you roll another dungeoneering check, Emac? These torch sconce will... will uh, if you pull the torch sconce... Attract it, them, yes. It will... I will wave everyone over again. No, no. If you if you pull the torch sconce, it will pull yes. these spikes back into the wall. I will wave everyone over again. 
and I'll wait and see what they do. Um. I'll tap my foot impatiently. You being a dick. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone else trained in acrobatics at all? Grungar is the only one. <laughs> he could probably just go dancing through the spikes. Unless he rolls like a one. Because I know it's not illustrated very well here, but these things are like floor to ceiling. Yeah. Horizontal from the walls. And they have little barbs on the side of them too. problem is even if the spikes are retracted the traps themselves are still active or at least that's why it's zoom no it's no once no, they wouldn't be. it wouldn't be oh well yeah i mean, I mean how, how do you how do you think people would get down here in the first place well i think it's more like if you'd have something you hold which i'm not that that'd be where trusting hemic would come in yeah uh, that would be I a bad idea I guess she'll just walk through, but use her staff to in front of her just to make sure. Just yeah, what does your focus. utility staff do anyway? Oh, it just adds one to the range of her utility spells, like press oh, okay. digitation, go sound. Right. So she activates all of them and kills her. No. Uh, uh, you'd have to roll an acrobatics check to even get past uh, this one. Oh, he didn't. Oh, I thought he was going to put them back. Dude, I don't no, think I'm waiting to see what no, you guys no, do. He, he just he just wants to be a dick and watch y'all. If Grungar if, if this. Grungar does have acrobatics and wants to try first, he can go. Oh, okay. Because if the spikes are still there, then no. Because she's not acrobatics. Paul, is you there? Paul, where are you? Dun, dun. Paul? Muted. Yeah, are you muted, Paul? Huh. I think his house got attacked by land pirates. Seems like the most logical conclusion. Land piranha. Yeah. Well, let me see. What oh. is this acrobatics? Anyway, let's see here. Ability check. Skill check. There it is. Acrobatics. Twelve. He doesn't make it. He just kind of walks into them, and doesn't even get anywhere. He can't. Well, he can't squeeze through him with his bugbear girth. He's too big. Yeah. With like. Well, then I'll be like, "Oh wait!" And even though I'm never even, here, uh, even though like, uh, <laughs> bad bluff check. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, the score was never checked for traps, or uh, never triggered for traps. I, I think you know it I mean? can be assumed. Yeah. 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 It's just uh, like in case anybody was planning on getting there. No, and oh. I'll pull the lever. Okay, oh, you pull wait, the lever. There's a lever here. Yep, you pull the lever. I, a, a trap door opens underneath me, drops me into a crocodile pit. <laughs> that would be much. Why does he even have that lever? <laughs> yes. Okay, but anyway, yeah, y'all y'all can make it across now. Da, 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 da. Yay. And uh, let's wait for Paul to get back. I'll make the uh, hand signs for bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> 